I want to start things off talking about Bullet Train, which did pretty good for its opening weekend. Had a $62 million global bow, which is pretty good for a movie like that. I think it'll end up doing okay and making its money back. I don't think it costs a ton of money to make that movie. There was a little bit of salt over it, which is always funny as well. Now, here's one thing about this movie that is important to point out. The big thing, and it's it's kind of sad that this is a big thing, but this is the world we live in now. But there's no message in this movie. It's not, from what I understand, from what I heard, Notably, Chris Gore talked about it on his channel, Film Threat, when he did a review on it. Said it's a, it's an okay movie, but it's not woke, which is good, and it's another example of a movie that's not pushing a message, doing really good. I mean, Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick is the real, the real example, but Bullet Train is another non woke movie that just wants to entertain you. And I think that that's important. You see movies like Buzz Lightyear. No, they didn't even call it Buzz Lightyear. Excuse me, Lightyear failing. Minions making $400 million. That could have been That could have been Lightyear money, but it wasn't. And then you've got Thor Love and Thunder still not even making $700 million. It's sitting at $699 million. I don't think it's going to make a billion dollars. So another Marvel failure. People are tired of this shit. They are sick of it. They don't want a message in their entertainment. And when you push that, people are getting turned off. I mean, this is why you're seeing a lot of these movies fail. And you're seeing a lot of stuff like Chris Pratt's movie, or excuse me, television series on Amazon, The Terminalist, do very, very well. In fact, it's now sitting at 1.6 billion minutes of watch time over on Amazon Prime. People turned out big time for this program. And it was funny because the critics hated it. Critics were scathing reviews. They they were giving this thing scathing reviews, slamming it, calling it a right fantasy, a right wing fantasy and all this stuff. And look what happened. It did well. Same thing with Bullet Train. Bullet Train's getting bad reviews. As some people are even calling it racist. And that's doing well. I know it's not like mind-blowing numbers, but for a movie like that, $62 million is pretty good. It'll probably crack $100 million by next weekend. I'm sure that movie did not cost a ton of money to make, so it's a win. But check this out. The DailyMail.com, the new Yellowstone, Chris Pratt's new Navy thriller, The Terminalist, defies woke critics' scathing reviews to shoot up ratings chart with 1.6 billion minutes of streams. While critics turn their noses up at The Terminalist, viewers have loved the Chris Pratt-led series and made it the second most watched show in the country. The show stars Pratt as a U.S. Navy SEAL who returns home and tries to put together how and why his platoon were ambushed and killed, Rotten Tomatoes showed an average rating of 400, of 40 out of 100 by critics, but a glowing 94 out of 100 from viewers. So 40% from critics, 94% from viewers, which is pretty good. Pretty good from viewers. Not shocking that critics hate it. You know, it's funny that they, they don't talk about that, like them review bombing it because they don't like the politics of the show because they think that it's awful. Shows a bias, too. Like, there's no real conservative critics. All of them are liberal. So every time something like this comes out, I mean, naturally, it's going to get trashed. It shows that these people don't represent the average viewer. And that's a problem. I mean, that's why you see people on YouTube blow up, because they, they do, and they're a lot more relatable compared to these ivory tower, super hyper liberals who live in California and review bomb shit like this. Uh, The contrast between critics and reviewers is reminiscent of the reaction to Yellowstone, a cowboy series also hated by critics, but loved by viewers. That's true. Yellowstone is a massive hit and critics hate it. Critics hate that show too. And it does well. 
uh, people that like this kind of entertainment are not represented by these critics. Uh, Pratt has drawn ire from woke commentators over his devout Christianity and love of hunting, although he's never discussed his political views. Until recently, actually recently he did, a little bit, but not much. Um, it's just funny to me, like, these people hate him because he's Christian and likes traditional values and all this stuff. It's, it's sick, to be honest. But it's doing really good. See some of this most entertaining thing on streaming. Shocking, it's on Amazon. Awesome action thriller with the best actor currently. And to make this even better, uh, Pratt went on Instagram and started making fun of the haters, which he he should do more. Uh, just tell these people to get effed. He didn't tell them to get effed, though, to be fair. But he shared the headline of what I just showed you. Uh, you can see here, it's not, it's, he just shared it. And I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he puts it on here, and then he shares this one, 1. 1.6 billion minutes. Just having a little fun. I like that. It's kind of throwing it in the face of the people that tried to pretty much ruin his show, and they did. They tried to ruin it by giving it bad reviews. Uh, if you have not seen The Terminal List, uh, I do recommend it. It's a fantastic show. Definitely worth watching in a world where we don't really get a lot of entertainment, especially like that show. Uh, there's no message. It's just a fun action thriller. And if that's something that you enjoy, I think that you'll find something that you will like there. And it's definitely something I, I recommend checking out. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.